Okay, here's one more example for you guys. So um, let's go ahead and do an improper fraction this time. So if I have three and a half and I'm gonna divide it by one and three fourths, I have a couple of things I'm gonna need to do here. Okay, the first thing is that I have mixed numbers and I cannot divide or multiply when I have these mixed numbers. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn them into improper fractions by asking myself, I have three holes, each hole is broken up into two equal parts. Three times two is six, plus I have this one little piece left over, so three times two is six, plus one is seven halves, okay? And then let's look at one and three fourths. I have one hole, it's broken up into four equal parts. One times four is four, plus the three remaining pieces I have, which ends up with seven fourths. In this case, I brought everything down. Do not change your sign yet. You will get confused. So now I have, sorry guys, I don't have my Apple pen. Can you believe I left it in the classroom? Ooh. Now I have seven halves divided by seven fourths. Now I can keep change flip that I have these fractions. So I'm gonna keep my first fraction. I'm going to change from division to a multiplication, and I'm going to flip or find the reciprocal, which would leave me with four sevenths. Now you have the option here. I know some of you are still not sure about the cross canceling, but that would be a great option. I will show you that in a minute. If you're still not comfortable, you do know how to multiply across, right? So seven times four is 28 and 2 times 7 is 14. Uh-oh, I have an improper fraction. I'm going to turn it into a mixed number by asking myself, how many holes can I make? So how many times does 14 go into 28? With some simple math, I will figure out that it goes in two whole times with nothing left over. So my answer is 2. Okay, if you were thinking about the cross-canceling, I'm going to go ahead and erase this for you guys show you the cross canceling okay what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look at my diagonals remember if you make a multiplication sign with your arms you go directly diagonally across so first I'm gonna look here can I simplify meaning can I divide 2 and 4 by something that is the same so in this case the answer is yes I would divide both of these by 2 I'm gonna shrink them by 2 when I do that okay 2 divided by 2 is 1 4 divided by 2 is 2. You are finding a common factor between the two. Sometimes, like in this case, it works out beautifully. Look at 7 and 7. They are the same number. I would divide both 7 and 7 by 7, and I end up with 1. Now I can multiply across. I've already simplified. 1 times 2 is 2. 1 times 1 is 1. And I know 2 over 1 is the same thing as 2, which is what we got the first time.